Okay, hey everyone and welcome to another Class 66 Rocks locomotive review. Now in this review I'm going to be taking a look at a very special locomotive. Um, it is by Hornby and it is a shunter tank engine. Now I got this particular locomotive off eBay. Um, it should have been 35 95 as you'll see in a minute um, from GD Models in Nottingham. Um, but I actually got it for I think it was 25, 30, something like that. So without further ado, let's take a look at it then. So, here we have it, as you can see, it's by Hornby. And as mentioned, it was £35.95 pence from GD Models. And um, that's what the previous owner purchased it for. Um, but like I say, I got it for about £25 to £30. Pounds. So, as you can see, it's a tank engine, hence the size of the box. And as you can see, it's the standard Hornby box. But if now, if I turn it onto the side of the box, we can see here, it is product number R2094C BR060ST class J94 locomotive 68080. So... Let's take it out of the box and have a look at it. So I'll just put those down there a minute. So as we can see here, um, we just have the image of the locomotive on the insert. I just thought I'd show you that a bit closer up. So the first thing that we have with this particular locomotive is the operation and maintenance instructions. As we can see, um, just tells you a bit about running hints, a bit of track cleaning. Um, it also tells you about how to replace the locomotive motor, as well as lubrication, etc. I'm not too sure if this particular model is DCC ready or whether I've got to hardwire it, um, but once we've moved house, um, then this will be fitting on the new house layout so that's them out of the way so here we have it the J94 shunter and does that, that looks absolutely amazing actually and I've been after one of these for quite some time so I was quite pleased to get it at such a reasonable price so as you can see it's the whole old there the old style home beat foam box packaging but on the back we have a hole there, so I'm going to put my finger through there and slowly push the locomotive out. So I'll just try and grip this like so. I'll pull out, just take that out. And as you can see there was also a bit of tissue paper in there as well protecting the locomotive from getting damaged. So here it is, the Hornby J94. As you can see, it's a small shunter tank engine. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, so it's in between. Um, so the more weight it has to it, the better haulage capacity it'll have. Um, I'm going to be using this on the new house layout for shunting trucks and carriages, etc. Um, as I once saw one at the Churnit Valley Railway years ago, and I mean years looking like 2000 and something. Um, it was shunting some carriages, some maroon ones actually, up and down the line. I think it is actually a matte finish, but looking at it, it actually looks quite glossy. Oh, that might just be my lighting in my room. Um, but if you think it's matte or gloss, feel free to comment below. Um, but I think it's actually just a really dark shade of matte, actually. So, let's start with the front of the locomotive then. So, as we can see on the front, we have a handrail, I think it is, running across the top half of the locomotive just there, just above the smoke box door. Um, unfortunately, the smoke box door doesn't actually open, but I think on, is it Batman? Or some Hornby they do. As we can see, we have the locomotive number, 68080. So, 
moving down now we can see we have round sprung loaded buffers which is a lovely feature to these types of locomotives um, because you can run them with other sprung buffered rolling stock for example so as we can see we have the old style of Hornby coupling but what we do is we take these off and we're going to put an NEM pocket coupling on um, as most of my rolling stock is NEM coupling so we're just going to modify the coupling a little bit so moving the locomotive round to the side now we can see running across the top half of the bodywork again I think it's a handrail um, but if you do know please leave your comments below as we can see there we have the British Railways large logo and underneath that in white or it might actually be cream is locomotive number 68080 so as we can see we've got three wheels on either side of the locomotive if I just do that you can see there but the detail on these coupling rods is absolutely fantastic and it is such a smart little locomotive as well I'm actually quite pleased with how it actually looks so moving across now we can see if I could just turn that we might actually have some detailing inside that cab just there um, but the camera is actually struggling a bit to pick that up but what I might actually do is I might put a fireman and an engine driver in there um, to make it look a bit more realistic because that's what most people seem to do these days and, and we have done it to other locomotives as well which you will see featured on the new house layout once we've got it built um, because I'm not waiting till we start working on the scenery before I start putting videos back up at the new house um, because I want to be able to get these locomotives running again because it's been nearly um, I think it's about eight months now since I last ran locomotives and what I'm thinking of doing if the house moves gonna take longer than anticipated is I might get a Hornby train set just with a bit of track and a controller and set it up in my room and just run locomotives on that just for a short video just to get them shown again but the house move is in the hands of the estate agent so I'm just gonna have to leave them to it unfortunately so back to the review so as we can see here we have some coal on the back half of the locomotive and the is it the coal box I'm not too sure what they actually called but if you do know please leave your comments below now usually these little cab roofs here on the top usually slide but this particular model doesn't so as we can see we also have a ladder just to the left of here if the camera is picking that up if you can see that running from the bottom half of the loco to the top again we have round sprung loaded buffers and one of Hornby's large style couplings which will be replaced with an NEM pocket um, so it'll be able to pull rolling stock with the NEM standard pockets fitted to them so let's turn the locomotive round to the other side now and as we can see again on this side we have the very nice bit of detail in there on the coupling rods um, so that actually looks quite good actually if I just tilt it slightly so the light picks it up as we can see we, again we have the British Railways large logo on the top half of the locomotive bodywork and a handrail but correct me if I'm wrong running across the top there and the number 68080 again underneath so as you can see here I'll try and get the light to try and pick some of the interior of that cab up but if you can see um, we have got a bit of detailing I think inside the cab but because the locomotive is purely black um, usually some Mombi and Batman locomotives have a bit of gold paint added to the detailing inside the cab so it makes it stand out so it's just making it a bit hard to pick it up on the camcorder at the minute so moving to the top half of the locomotive not the locomotive, the locomotive now 
we can see we have um, the funnel here where the smoke comes out of and we also have um, this little round thing here. I can't actually remember the name of that but if you do know please leave your comments below. I think that's the whistle. I'm sure that is the whistle. So when he pulls the whistle inside the cab that's where it comes out of. But just to clarify if I'm right or wrong please leave your comments below if you do know. So that's it basically. The Hornby J94 shunter in BR Black livery.